Knowing what you're getting when it comes to marijuana is a highly regulated process. That is, if you are purchasing from a legal business. But state officials tell the I-Team hundreds of illegal shops are making it hard for customers to tell the difference, and that could be putting your health at risk. The I-Team's Lolita Lopez joins us now with more. Lolita. Uh, Carolyn and Colleen, it's an ongoing effort by state officials to properly regulate this booming industry that we have been following for more than a year. Today, we're taking a look at how the legal shops are making sure their products are safe and the risk you could be taking if you don't check for a license first. Come into the vestibule area first. Walking into King's Crew in Corona, you're immediately greeted by security. We welcome people in a very secure manner. Identification checked. The number one thing you get from buying cannabis through a legal California dispensary is you know you're going to be in a safe environment. And inside, we sell everything you can possibly imagine in the legal cannabis industry from vapes to edibles to flour accessories. Mark Russ from Gold Floor, which operates King's Crew, says all of the products have gone through a thorough review process. You know that everything here is tested. Some other products in their stores have this type of technology. You simply just scan this QR code like you would anything else, and it's going to bring up that product onto the consumer's phone where they can scroll through. They can look at all of the um, information that from test results here. Product packaging is also highly regulated. It cannot be attractive to children, according to the Department of Cannabis Control. But the I-Team has showed you before that in illegal shops, unregulated packaging is common. We found a lot of product that is appealing to kids, uh, a lot of packaging that we would never allow in our legal market. Yeah. The I-Team was with a DCC enforcement team when they visited what they said they are illegal locations in Los Angeles in November. They tell us these businesses had been served with search warrants months before and warned about unlicensed commercial cannabis activity. The I-Team was also with the DCC when hundreds of pounds of cannabis from illegal businesses were collected, some found to contain pesticides and other products known to be harmful for humans to consume. We have thousands of legal cannabis businesses in the state of California. They operate within the confines of our regulatory framework. They pay their taxes. This is unfair competition to them. It undermines the work that we're all doing to cry, try and create a safe space uh, for cannabis consumption. Though the illegal market remains prevalent, data obtained by the I-Team shows the number of legal storefronts is growing quickly. Retail storefronts with active state licenses to sell cannabis products have increased by nearly 59 percent from 2021 to November 2023. In LA County, retail license stores increased from 216 to 382 during that same time period. License locations can be found by searching the DCC website, entering your location, and seeing what shops are near you. You can also search by business name. We checked, and Gold Floor does have an active license with the state. There is a 15% excise tax um, that goes to the, the state. Mark says it may likely cost shoppers a little more when going into a licensed store. And that's because of the state and sometimes individual cities tax requirements. In some areas, it can be, you know, 30 percent or more on top of the the price that you're going to pay, um, which is significant for the consumer. Unfortunately, we're just the the person that has to collect it and, and pay it through. Taxes in part that go to the DCC's efforts to crack down on illegal operators so you know what you're getting. We really are here to to make people aware this is where you should come because safe, legal, and tested. Now, we have some new numbers. According to the DCC, more than 189,000 pounds of illegal cannabis was seized statewide in 2023. They say that that is more than $312 million worth. It just gives you a sense of how big of a problem the state says they are dealing with. Colleen?